Hi, everyone. Welcome to Anaheim, California, here in the OC, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski for EA Sports. The Avs seem to be checking the boxes in all areas right now, Ray. And I think when we talked to the coaches this morning, we got that sense that they're very happy with the way that they play. But don't let your play slip. Things are going so well. Push it as far as you can. The official's made his way to center ice, and we are ready to get things underway. The Avalanche have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. A chance! Love save made by Gibson. Quick shot. Oh, on the outside of the frame! Hey, how about a bounce? Would you seriously, James? Call the goal sooner or later. This game doesn't have one, and that one goes off the goalpost. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck behind the net. Anaheim's moving it along the wing. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still scoreless in this one. Colorado's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Colorado's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And he makes the save. Gibson's had a lot to do with the team's winning record. His save percentage has been excellent all season. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. And he slides it quickly to Gerard. Takes the feed. Puck exits the zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here he comes, in on a breakaway. Offside is the call, but we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. The Ducks win the draw here in the neutral zone. And now he tries to get it across to Fowler. And that's just out of reach. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The Ducks win the draw. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. And here's the pass to Getzlaff. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Contois' name on this list is of no surprise. Always a very aggressive player. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Drysdale. Puck picked up by Fowler. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Henrique. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Taves was talking about his missed chances earlier today. It all adds up to a pointless streak that he can't seem to break. Anaheim's won it. Drysdale's taking it from his own end. The Ducks take it along the wing. With possession along the wall. Lugs the puck back into the neutral zone. Oh, great play to use the wall, handling the pass. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. Cuts to the paint. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Gibson. Moves it quickly over to Comfort. Strong defensive effort. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Here we go, one man rush. Oh, he got paddled by Kemper. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Kemper's made an excellent stop there in position to keep the puck out. They've got numbers. Here he is on the backhand. He scores. Colorado's on the board. 
but they lead it one nothing. I can't believe this game's going to end one nothing. So that first goal gives you a head start into what I hope is a pretty offensive game. Puck grab by Carrick. The Avs have it now. Anaheim's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Taken along the wall by Patterson. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Puts it to the front of the net. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, and blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. And that's picked off. The Avs have stolen a bunch of pucks tonight, and I'm telling you, James, in a close game, this easily could be the difference. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Here they come up along the wing. Anaheim's got the puck. Keeps hold of the puck. Landeskog stick handling in his own zone. Into the corner now. Manages to hang on. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Ducks take it across the line. And he makes the easy save. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. The Ducks have it now. Kemper's excellent play continues from his shutout in the last game. He's been sharp. Denies him. He got all of it. Quick feed to Johnson. Slides the puck over. The Avs play it along the boards. Puck scooped up by Johnson. Gains the zone through the middle. And he takes a shot. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Kemper's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Late goings of this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Shattenkirk's got it in the defensive end. Now he slides it up to Comtois. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Rontanen's a strong playmaker because of his crisp, accurate passes, guys. That's his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability, and it's how he likes to contribute to the play. Gibson's rock solid between the pipes. He can bail out his team and give them a chance to win on a nightly basis. I'll be watching these two players to score! Right on the doorstep, he passes on the rebound and puts it home. up this rebound here it comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away the officials are in position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face off here Anaheim's got a hold of the puck off the draw that one sails to the bench then in the coaching staff scrambling Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And the officials waving off icing here. And with the sound of the horn, that brings some finality to the opening period, and we've got a close one. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. Second period now underway. We'll see how much longer this thing stays tied. 
Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Anaheim's in a tie game, which is kind of miraculous because they turned the puck over way too much in the first period. Scooped up along the wall by Lindholm. Slides it up front. Here he is, wrists it on net. He was locked in there. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's all tied up. The Ducks win the draw. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. And that one's broken up. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. That's a textbook save by Kemper. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Anaheim's in transition. That's not going to fool him. Makar's moving the puck through his own zone. And they'll dump it in. Picked up along the wall by Landeskog. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Jabs the puck away. Comtois moving it ahead. Quick pass to Raquel. And that's picked off in front. And he regains control of the puck. There's the whistle from the lines. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. And they're going to drop the mitts here. That's a clear decision there. Of course, everybody jumps up when the fight happens, but your guy wins, and the building just keeps moving along. And the crowd's still on their feet here, Ray. McCarr is known for his great skating, especially when turning. That's his elite edge of zone ability, and he's able to make better plays when he carries his speed into his turns, guys. Colorado's won the draw. Moves it to Burakovsky. Here's a shot. That's turned away with the pad by Gibson. Headman pass. Anaheim sliding the puck behind the net. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Anaheim's won the faceoff. Simple stop by Kemper. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Getzlaff. Denies him in front. Kemper's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. The Ducks win it. And that one stopped. Makar's lugging the puck. Colorado's moving it up the ice. Sends it in deep. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Centering pass. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a puck check. Oh, it stops him again. Raquel's first game back doesn't show any signs of rust, James. I like the way he skated, and there he gets a shot on goal. Sends it in on the attack. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. 
Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here's a chance. That's blocked by Gibson. And he moves it up to Jones. Can't connect on the pass. Gibson's got the puck in his own zone. Play whistle dead because of an offside. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Anaheim's won the draw in the neutral zone. Feeds the puck over to Landeskog. Nice zone entry on the left side. And that's broken up. Slides it up to Jones. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Wow, did you get the speed gun out for that one there, Ray? No, nah, I didn't get it out in time, and that's a heck of an effort by him to go all that way to keep the play alive. No icing there. Kemper's hands are quick. He uses a stick to make this save on the scoring chance. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Grabbed along the boards by Shattenkirk. Colorado's got the puck. Tries to feed it over to Landeskog. Takes a shot. Oh, and I think that goes off the mask, and it stays out, and play continues. Landeskog's efforts have to be towards creating offense. He gets stopped there, but I like the fact that he's back to doing what he's supposed to do. The fight is in the past, and he doesn't need to be doing that very often. Here's a shot. Glove save, and the puck moves on. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Shattenkirk. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Landeskog. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Makes the save on the play as the puck skips out into the crowd. In the final moments of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Ducks win it in the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. Quick feed to Taves. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. The Avs gain possession along the wall. With possession along the wall. Second period nearly in the books here. Quick pass across to Lettieri. Can't get a hold of that pass. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Finds nothing but air on that shot. It's been a tightly contested affair this far as the period comes to an end. Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. Third period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. Quick pass to Kadri. Gets in front of it. Anaheim's got it along the wall. They've got numbers here. Stones him in front. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Anaheim's looking to break out. And now he moves it to Comtois. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. And that pass can't connect. Makes a move in front. Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. You got to get into the middle of the ice to score. He's in the low slot and he whips the backhander past the goalie.
Anaheim's got the one goal lead here in the third. Like lots of both the way that they've played, this goal is well earned, and now they have a chance to win this game. The Ducks win the faceoff. And now he moves it quickly to Lindholm. Scoops up the puck here. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Landeskog. Pokes the puck away. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Circles back to center ice. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Ducks are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Shattenkirk's taking it from his own end. The Avalanche have the puck in the open ice. Gains the zone on the left wing. Lindholm's gaining momentum. Here they come on the attack. Oh, what a stop by Kemper. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Sends the pass over. The Avs move it ahead. Here's a shot. That's kicked away with the pad by Gibson. Through center along the wing. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Ducks lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Taken by Fowler. And he'll retreat inside his own end. And he slides it quickly to Terry. Sends it to the cross side. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Puts it up front. Oh, what a save by Kemper. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Frustrating night for the offensive players on both teams. Plenty of chances, not much production. The goals are not there, and the chances are, and you have to try and dig away for one chance that might make the difference. On the back end, they score! That's three in a row! This is turning into an onslaught. There seems to be no way to slow them down. highlight the coaches sour that they gave up this man advantage break but it's beautifully executed and it's in the net the ducks now with that two goal lead how does that change things here in this third period well now as it gets late james they can really manage the puck well don't have to take any chances with it drysdale stick handling in his own zone the ducks have it deep inside their own end moves it to comtois and that's broken up by Drysdale. The Ducks' top line is so impressive most nights, but the way they're rolling here again tonight is unbelievable. Nobody has an answer for this line. Carlin Bay is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. Gibson's efforts have given this team a chance to win this game, guys. Given our matchup, it's hard not to give them the edge. The Ducks win it. Pattern's got it in the defensive end. Up along the wing. Cut it to the slot. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Made that stop. The Avs have it now. Great forecheck by Raquel. Comtois got it in the corner. Take it along the wall by Pedrin. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Offside the corner. Oh, he ripped that right after the whistle. What's he thinking? Ranton has done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. And on 
on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. That extra space on the ice is there for you to take advantage of. Be patient. You've got the time. Make the right play. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Terry's picking up steam. Oh, look at this chance. Anaheim's got the puck behind the net. That's close, James. The goaltender ends up beating the shooter to the post. As if that looks like it's a goal, but it's shut down. Picked up along the wall by Patterson. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Off a stick and they can't connect. Slides the puck over to Jost. Can't connect. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Picked up along the boards by Terry. Takes it to the front. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Gibson's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Steele swooping in on the attack. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. Feeds the puck to Steele. Picks off the pass. Colorado's done a really nice job positionally tonight. They've stolen the puck every time, it seems, when they needed to. Sends it down low. And sends it just out of reach. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Stahl. Under a minute to go in the third. Gibson's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Oh, he just got enough of that one to turn it aside. Here in the late goings of the period, Anaheim's got a 3-1 lead. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. Great stop by Gibson. Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. Puts it in deep. Scooped up along the wall by Terry. And that's stopped by Kemper. Angles it over to Comper. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Oh, and there's a great save by Gibson. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Great chance in front. Can't connect. Kemper's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Gibson's right on top of the scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Steals won the draw here in the offensive zone. Denies him with the save. Goalie plays it up. Gerard's got the puck along the wing. There's the hole. come to an end, but I still like the way they played though in this one. I thought they played pretty well. They had plenty of chances, and the game's close. You can't win every night. Well, a fun night here to call this one, and the fun ain't done just yet. No, they go back and salute the fans, and I'll tell you, when you're playing, you notice when it's great. You notice when it's not great. That was a great night. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray. I'm James. Good night.